Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video and today I'm concentrating all on that favourite thing we love to do, go on holidays. So I'm going to be showing you some favourite holiday pieces from Karen Millen. This video is in sponsored partnership with Karen Millen who, as you know, I love to work with and have been working with for a really long time. And this one in particular, I would say, is a real kind of like wow selection. I'm really, really impressed with these pieces. Um, the most beautiful set of dresses and things like that. So I'm excited to show you all of the pieces. So let's just get straight into it. I'd say mostly this is quite, I guess, slightly more glamorous kind of holiday outfit. I sometimes like to have that sort of Spanishy, glamorous um, evening vibe when I go on holiday. I'd say a lot of these outfits are slightly more catered towards your holiday evening looks or hot weather evening looks when you want to dress up but not kind of feel inappropriate for the weather. Um, I, I've got no heels in here, for example, because I think on holiday I just don't even wear them. So yeah, I like to go a little bit more down the glamorous route, um, especially if I'm kind of not in a city and more of like a relaxed kind of holiday. So yeah, I'm really excited to show these pieces. So let's get started with the first dress. So piece number one, maybe a little bit similar to what I'm wearing here. It's actually the same dress, but in a different pattern. And I'm just kind of obsessed with the shape and style. This to me is like the ultimate holiday evening dress in terms of the shape. I love a puff shoulder for holidays in the evening. I think when it, the sun goes down and it's slightly cooler, you can get away with a bit more of a sleeve. Um, so to add a puff sleeve just really kind of takes it to that next level, glams it up a little bit. This would actually make a really nice wedding guest dress outfit too. So it's got this like low cut here. And what I love particularly about these two dresses is the attention to detail. We've got this kind of cutout bit here, the black and white cutout all over, the tie waistband, which I just think is, you know, it just really adds that extra something, creates that definition at the waist. And then you've really got that balance here. It creates a really nice shape. I think this dress shape is very flattering on a lot of people because it really creates that hourglass effect because we've got the wider shoulders on the top, then the belt cinches you in the middle and then this gorgeous kind of flowy outer bit at the bottom with the kind of cut out bit to segregate it. Um, I don't know, what, what would you call this bit at the bottom? Somebody let me know below. What's this kind of extra frill bit called? There must be a name for when a dress has that. Not, not like a peplum, but you know what I mean anyway. And it just kind of really gives that senorita, Spanish look to it, especially with a great pair of earrings. I've kept the earrings relatively simple with this, just some gold hoops, a red lipstick, and some strappy simple sandals, and let the dress do the talking. It's just such a beautiful piece, and I'll be talking about the white one again um, at the end of the video. So my next dress is actually a really nice one, a bit more that you could wear in the day because you've got all the um, arms open. It's quite hard to demonstrate on the hanger actually, so you'll be able to see better in the cutaways, but it's this beautiful halter neck style with the low back, the tie a bit around the back, and what I think is really important to look for, this is a good tip for summer dressing because I know so many of you find it difficult and it is difficult because how can you make something look good when you've not got that opportunity to do layering? And so what I suggest is to look for pieces like this where you've got this gorgeous back detail, the shapes, the, the fact that the hemline of this drops lower at the back and higher at the front, just all those little small details makes this a really elegant, stylish piece. I feel like this kind of evokes Grace Kelly vibes um, but you could dress this up, dress this down with some tan sandals in the daytime if you're going for a bit more of like a lunch out and about, keep it kind of classy and simple and chic with this, wear it in the evening again with a red lip and some great earrings and you can pop some earrings on like the ones I'm wearing here. So these also from Karen Millen, these are the most beautiful statement earrings and I think if you are going on holiday and you're packing you know, you're trying to minimize your packing a bit or you've only got hand luggage. The one piece 
I would suggest you bring is a great pair of earrings because you can have everything else really simple, like a simple white dress, like that Karen Millen one, um, and then you just pop on a great pair of earrings and it's just transformative. So I really recommend investing in a great statement pair of earrings that also goes with everything. So these will go with everything because they've just um, got the simple flower shape in the gold and the white. So color wise, um, it's not like it's a bright color that won't go with certain things. These will go with all your simple pieces and really add that kind of summary statement. So the next two pieces I decided to pair together. Again, a glamorous holiday evening look. And I think these pieces um, that I'm showing you today would actually, if you're um, going on a hen do, if it's your hen do and you're looking for some kind of white pieces, you're going abroad maybe or somewhere warm, um, I would really recommend checking out Karen Millen for that because they're quite known for their formal pieces and their occasion pieces. So definitely check them out. Um, and you could even create something like this. It doesn't necessarily have to be a dress, but a really beautiful top and shorts. Um, this is, it's not a set, but I've put them together. Um, so let's talk about the top first. So this is like, this is honestly stunning. It's quite heavy, which to me just feels super kind of expensive, luxurious. It just feels like such a high-end piece. It's got all this beading detail in here. It's got cutouts, it's got embroidery. It's got these beautiful sleeves. I don't know if you can see that properly on camera. I'll show some proper close-ups in my cutaways, but these sleeves are just absolutely stunning. And this top really does the talking without feeling like you're wearing anything too out there or too kind of, I, I'm not someone who's massively into lots of bright colors. I think they can look a bit garish sometimes. So I think this it just really is a stunning, beautiful, elegant piece um, that does the talking without being too much in your face. Um, it's just stunning. I really, really um, can't rave enough about this and you could actually just wear this with some jeans even, um, or some loose, relaxed kind of trousers just to dress it down. Or you could wear it with some shorts like these, like I've done. Um, so especially on holiday, I think, if we're thinking holiday evenings, if it's been warm in the day and you've got a long sleeve on, you probably want to balance out that with something short. I personally would go for shorts over a skirt or a mini skirt. Um, I just feel like it brings some masculinity and contrast to this very pretty blouse. So these are a linen blend, like slightly high-waisted style shorts. They've got the belt loop, so you can pop a belt with this um, and wear them with more casual pieces. And also, they just help to dress down and add some masculinity to these pretty pieces like this blouse. Um, just really easy, simple pair to wear. Um, I love the little turn-up detail on them here. And yeah, they'll just go with everything. For me, a pair of shorts like this is a summer wardrobe staple. Um, and should be part of your capsule wardrobe. So another two pieces I wore together. Let's talk about the swimsuit first. So this is just a simple black swimsuit. And what I love about um, taking a swimsuit like this on holiday is that you can actually wear it as a top. So thinking about multi-use, multi-wearing, how to get the most out of your luggage, your hand luggage, um, and just a swimsuit like this. It's a bit more glam. It's got the gold detail to it. It's got slight cutouts got the cutout back and it's got this, it's quite thick. It's not like traditional um, swim kind of fabric. It's it's kind of this ribbed fabric, which makes it feel more like a top and you could wear it as a top, especially if you're kind of going out for lunch and you were spending the day by the beach as well at the same time. This would be a great one for that and then throw it on with the trousers. So I actually think it doesn't really matter that you could maybe see your swimsuit under trousers um, because when you're on holiday, it's obvious that you're wearing a swimsuit. So I don't think it's really a big deal. I think it looks quite cool, if anything. Um, just pop on some wide leg trousers like this with it. What I love about these is the elasticated waistband makes this style of trouser, the wide leg white uh, twill trousers, feel a little bit more dressed down and relaxed. It doesn't, you know, it feels quite effortless with the drawstring um, and it complements the swimsuit really well and makes it, kind of gives it that more dressed down look, which would be really appropriate if you are styling them for daytime. Equally, they work so nicely for evening. I just love, 
of wide leg wide trouser. I have quite a collection now, but I feel like I can justify it because they're all slightly different shapes. But I love these just for a really nice, relaxed look with the swimsuit. Or you could wear these and I think they'd look so, so chic with a shirt, a linen shirt, cotton shirt, um, blues, white, stripes of any kind of colour. These just will look so chic. And you could wear these in the UK and could wear I could imagine these with a black blazer, some trainers. You could really style these in so many ways. So I definitely think, again, like the shorts, these are kind of an essential piece in your summer wardrobe. Um, and I would really, really recommend investing. And they're actually not see-through. Sometimes when you're wearing them with black, things can kind of show through. But if you're not, if you've not got the black swimsuit underneath, they're not, they're not see-through at all. So um, a really, really good buy for whether you're kind of in the city or, um, you know, by the beach poolside. Okay, so speaking of kind of hen do dresses and if you're going like kind of a broad hen do, what to wear, um, I just think this is so cool. This to me is like 70s glam, uh, disco. I just think it's amazing as a beach cover up. So it is kind of a bit see through, but it is a beach cover up. That That's what it's made for. It's not meant to be like a dress to wear out. So it just looks so great with everything. You could pop this on um, if you're going for lunch again in the daytime, but also just as your pool dress, going for breakfast. Um, it's just amazing. It's so glam. Uh, these sleeves, I mean, look at that. These sleeves are beautiful and it's really nice and flattering. I think often um, kind of caftans can be very much like you're drowning in fabric. Whereas this, because it's got the gathered waist, it's it's definitely not that. And it's got this silver running through it. So I really think if you're going to like a bit more of a kind of party holiday or somewhere that's a bit more kind of glam, I really do think this is so, so cool. Finally, I will touch on this dress, but we've already kind of discussed this white dress. Um, with the first one, but I just think this is absolutely beautiful. If you're not into the kind of black and white or the two-tone colours and just prefer like a block colour dress, then this one is for you. I just think you can't go wrong with this dress. It is stunning. It's not too eveningy um, with the broidery um, on it, so I think you can wear it for day or night. You could wear this with a pair of heels for going out in. Um, you could dress this down with a pair of flat sandals or you could go all out, get some statement earrings like these ones and you are good to go. And it's just like I say, such a flattering shape on everyone. So I hope that's been useful for you. Um, I feel like I can't pick a favorite. Maybe this dress actually. I do love this one and I really love these earrings and I think those trousers as well with the elastic waist I think would be a really, really useful piece. So I'd say those are my top three. Um, let me know your top three in the comments below. Everything will be linked below. Um, usually in Karen Millen, I get uh, size eight in everything. So I hope that's useful for sizing reference. And I'm about five foot six in height. So if you did like the video, don't forget hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up just to let me know that you enjoyed it. Um, always leave me comments below your favorite pieces, etc. cetera. Um, and thanks again to Karen Millen for sponsoring this video. Um, I'll see you in my next one.